Hey guys, it's Mike out here this uh, beautiful morning. Um, it was cold coming in, frost on the cars. Uh, it was 29 degrees when I parked. And um, <clears throat> I got set up on a bird I roosted last night. But I'd say he was with hens within five or six minutes. And uh, he gobbled a lot on the roost, hit the ground, gobbled like four times, and that's all she wrote. Um, so when Corbin and I were out here, <clears throat> The other day, this is some private property I had permission to hunt. We uh, took a walk around the property and went out to this road over here and we're walking back to the car and he says, Dad, look at all this litter. This is terrible. Why do people do this kind of stuff? And, you know, it just kind of irks me, you know what I mean? The litter and like, what's the point of it? And all I ever hear people complain about is, oh, there's no public land open, and I see birds on private land all the time, and it's posted, and people who own land are greedy and everything else. Well, I walked out to a gas line here, and uh, I was calling a little bit, nothing answered. I'm like, you know what, these birds are super henned up. I mean, my buddy shot me a message. He said he was on three birds, and they just flew right to the hens, and I was like, you know what? All I'm gonna do is educate these birds if I sit here and keep uh, calling to them. So I was like, I'm gonna go, I took some trash bags with me and I figured if I got that bird early, I'd clean, do a little cleanup. Well, uh, instead of, you know, messing with them birds while they're all hend up, I figured I'll just go put some time in, put some uh, manual labor out there. If you look behind me, that's ridiculous completely and utterly ridiculous now i probably walked i don't know maybe a quarter mile of this you know strip of property alongside the road i mean there's two five gallon buckets of paint why would you just dump that on someone else's property i don't know how many bags there are two four six eight ten ten full you know hefty bags big hefty bags full of garbage just people driving up and down this road just throwing their stuff out i don't know if they're mad at the landowner for posting their land i would too you know what i mean it's just dis disgusting you know unreal and, and the worst part is it's like this all over our state and i mean i know there's a lot of cleanups and things like that and i can only hope that the people that do that kind of stuff aren't hunters that are bitter at this landowner because you know, people work hard for what they have, you know? And then to have people just dump garbage on, I don't get it, you know? It just, it drives me up the wall. And like I said, those birds are, were so hand up, I probably would have spooked them. So I figured, you know, I'll just walk up and down the road and pick garbage. Unreal. That's unacceptable. Like, we are better than this, guys. And I know there's so many guys out there that feel the same way I do about, you know, litter and things like that. But just terrible. Save it till you get to the next sheets you go to. Throw it in the garbage. You know what I mean? Take it home. Don't litter someone else's property just because you can't hunt it. Or, you know, just random people just throwing garbage out. Ridiculous. So, now that this work's done, I mean... I put a good heft on trying, I, you know, I, I really gave it heck trying to clean that up and it looks a hell of a lot better, you know. There's still some stuff that maybe I missed, but 10, you know, 55 gallon bags or whatever they are of garbage, 38 gallon bag. Ridiculous. Now I'll, I'll let the landowner know I don't have a truck, so I can't really haul that, but, you know, at least that's one less thing he has to worry about for the time being, and I'm sure four or five years down the road it's probably gonna look just as bad but now that that's done I'm going to uh, go out and hopefully get on some birds I mean they should be about what time is it 20 after 9 you know they should be about broken up a little bit here and uh, might be a little bit easier to call in now so again don't do that kind of stuff you know what I mean and, it, and if you do have permission to hunt someone's property and you see stuff like this, clean it up, you know. Out of respect for them letting you hunt their ground, give back. I'm sure a lot of guys do, but, you know, don't take that for granted. You know, don't be part of the problem. Be part of the solution, you know. So time to uh, 
go sit down <laughs> and then get back to hunting. So good luck if you're out there and uh, stay tuned.